Danger Dolan From actual withdrawal symptoms from being deprived from video games to murder and assault, we count 11 horrifying examples of gaming addiction. Number 11. Tunnel Vision There are some crazy internet cafes in the world. For instance, in Taiwan, a 23-year-old man named Chen paid for 23 hours of time at his favorite place in order to binge on World of Warcraft. But 23 hours later, when the staff came to tell him his time was up, they realized something was horrible. He was dead and had been for a while. Then a big commotion was raised with the staff and they called the emergency services. Turns out he died thanks to heart failure as the cafe was filled with cigarette smoke. But the worst thing here is that the other gamers didn't even notice until the forensic team showed up and they had to evacuate. The others were so locked into their games that they didn't even notice that there was a slowly decaying corpse in the room with them. Now that's MLG. Number 10. Withdrawal Symptoms A young boy aged 12 named Brett was a huge fan of Counter-Strike, so much so that he spent any chance he got to play it. Which I mean isn't that crazy when you think about it, but what is crazy is his reactions when cut off from the game. It only took him a few hours for him to reach an incredibly dark place. When I was talking about throwing tantrums, he legitimately began to think about committing suicide. He's not the only one that had these feelings, because an addict going through video game withdrawal can experience anxiety, irritability, and depression. They can even feel physical symptoms such as nausea and dizziness. Number 9. Severe health problems. We're not just talking about getting fat or lacking enough muscle to do anything but wank and move your thumbs. There are some severe health side effects that can be caused by playing games way too much. The first and most prominent one is repetitive strain injuries where your thumbs, fingers and or wrists have been damaged. If you don't catch it and treat it early, the damage can be a lifelong chronic pain. Then there's all the problems that come with being sedentary, sitting down for too long is not healthy and it can cause heart failure. One kid reported that he had played WoW so much that he had developed a deep vein thrombosis, where a blood clot forms due to inactivity. If untreated, the clot can travel into your brain or heart and kill you. Number 8. The Extreme Tetris Effect For the few of you that have never heard of it or experienced the Tetris Effect, it's the thing your brain does after playing a game for too long and you keep playing the game in your head. This most commonly happens with Tetris. This isn't really that big of a deal for most people, however one woman was so focused on where imaginary blocks would go that she drove into oncoming traffic and was t-boned by a car. In a stroke of luck, the speeding hunk of metal didn't take any lives, but this level of Tetris effect could only happen to someone completely addicted. Number 7. Pyromania Now before we go any further, I'm not the kind of person that believes video games can cause violence. There's too little evidence proving that it does and a decent amount that proves that it doesn't. The people committing these crimes are mentally unstable individuals that use video games as an outlet. Anyway, back on topic, a 17 year old boy was extremely frustrated after he lost a schoolyard fight, so he did what any good fire mage would do, find some fossil fuel, pour it on his victim and light him on fire. He claimed he lost himself in the world of Warcraft when he lit the kid on fire. He had transformed into a fire mage. He was sent to prison for 8 years and had to pay the victim and his family just over the equivalent of 100,000 US dollars. Number 6. Playing a game to death. This isn't hyperbole. There have been numerous reports of people playing games with that significant pause for so long that they die of exhaustion. The most notable case of this is a 32 year old man in Taiwan who stayed in an internet cafe for 3 days so he could play his favorite online game. Earlier that year, another man in Taiwan suffered the same fate after playing video games for over 5 days in a row. Don't get me wrong, I've binge played a game before, but I can't imagine being so addicted to a game that I literally keep playing until death takes me. Number 5. Grand Delusions A 13 year old was so obsessed with WoW that he lost his mind. He wasn't unintelligent as he had good grades at school, but that didn't stop him obsessively writing an 80,000 word in character diary about the game. This isn't what makes him delusional and clearly addicted however, at some point he thought to himself that he couldn't bear being apart from the characters in the game, so he left a note for his parents and jumped off a 24 story building. His suicide note claimed he had gone to join the heroes of the game that he worshipped. His parents then sued the Chinese distributor of WoW for the equivalent of 12,500 US dollars. Number 4. Revenge During the Diablo-like online RPG Legend of Mer 3's peak, Equipment was worth a lot of money. Some would go for up to 10,000 US dollars online. 
Zhu from China borrowed a sword from his friend Qi for a while, but then he realized its value he sold it for a thousand dollars. Needless to say, his friend was incredibly angry. But Qi got so angry that he did something crazy. He stabbed Zhu with great force in the chest and killed him. He was then sentenced to life in jail. This isn't the only case of revenge. Multiple people have been killed or injured over disputes in games. Not all of them had real money behind them either, just hours and hours of playtime. Number 3 16 year old Daniel Petrick got sick with a staff infection and wasn't really able to go outside, so his friends introduced him to the Halo series. He got hooked and wanted to buy Halo 3, but his parents forbade him due to its mature rating. However, he bought it anyway in secret, he clocked up to 18 hours a day and got totally addicted. But when his parents found out, they took the Xbox in the game and locked it away in the safe along with their handgun. David got his father's keys and emptied its contents. He then walked up to his parents who were sitting on the couch and told them, Close your eyes, I have a surprise for you both. He then shot both parents in the back of their heads and then tried to cover it up as a murder-suicide. But his dad survived and was sentenced to jail. David isn't the only case of this happening. 13 year old boy strangled and pilfered an 83 year old woman so he could pay for his WoW subscription. Number 2 Infant death by negligence. Ever been so hooked into a game that you forget about the world around you? Me too. It's a nice feeling being immersed into a fictional world, but when you have young children in your care, you need to pay attention. There's a depressingly large amount of stories about parents being so involved in their gaming that they ignore their children for long periods of time. So much so that they die for one reason or another. The causes of death vary. One man left a gun in his living room and his three year old thought it was a Wii toy. Another left the room to play on his Game Boy Advance while his 10 month old twins were in the tub. But sadly the usual cause is leaving kids to die a slow death. Number 1 Filicide Negligence is one thing. Deliberately harming your own children because they're taking away time from your game is another, much worse thing. When Tony Bragg heard his infant son screaming during his EverQuest time, he walked over to him, squeezed him and shoved him in the utility closet. He later found that he had squeezed the kid to death. Tyrone Spellman thought his 17 month old daughter had broken his brother's Xbox, so he did what any rational and well adjusted human being would do, he beat her to death. He later added the following, that little baby's head cracked like a walnut. Both of these men are serving long sentences in jail. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!